Well, hey there, folks, and uh, welcome back. I guess. Really, what I want to do is 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 make the sausage and squeeze this into the sausage like a donut. I don't know how well this thing's under pressure. I, it might work. If I try to center the cheese inside of the sausage mixture, it's, it's going to get screwed up when it comes out of the extruder. Weird things happen inside of here. One second, I gotta, I gotta season this with some salt. I think, I think I'm out of, I think I'm out of pepper. Give it a quick mix here. Some people wait a lifetime for a sausage like this. In three, two, one. With sausage. Out. And that's it. That was that was all the sausage that was made. That looks like one sausage length. All right, we have our three sausages here. Three attempts to get this wrong. We're gonna make a haul. Let's give it the old insertion. Get back in there, cheese. You don't belong on the outside. Hold on, we're going to attack it from the other angle. Okay, that's that's jam-packed down. All right, at least both ends got the cheese in it. I'm, I'm hoping some of it traverses into the middle of the pack. This one I'm going to do side entry. And this one I'm going to leave plain just to see how it is. With special thanks to today's Mark Boxalo box artist. This guy! This is more, this is more Mr. Sausage Box Art, unless this guy's Mark Boxalo, and he's having quite a time in the background. So will it blow? <coughs> well, Spider-Man's catching it right across the face. The box remains dry, so I'm gonna have to give that will it blow one Mark Ruffalo's. Boop. Well, all right. Here we go! I almost forgot our will it blow. This, this pan is nothing but chaos. What, 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 what exactly have we accomplished today? Let's start opening them up and seeing how we did. All right, well, the one with nothing inside of it, it's, it, you know, it's, it's done. It tastes like a, like a, like a normal sausage, as it should. There's just salt and pepper in there. All right, this is the front and end loaded one, and as you can see, the size has decreased by a lot. So let's see if we actually got some cheese in the center there. None whatsoever. I think it all spilled out the sides and closed. And now for the side loaded one. It had cheese coming in and out of it from every which way you can think of. And it's still raw. There, there's cheese inside of here. I guess that the, once the meat solidifies, it it gets it expels the cheese from within. Ah, uh, that, that that had a little bit of cheese inside of it. I I, I will take a bite of that as well. Well, what can I say? This this was a total failure. If the cheese didn't cook out of the sausage, it it made the sausage not even done yet. I guess I guess that would mean it's a bad idea to make a sausage, you know, with a a a, a, a cheese core inside of it. Uh, flavor wise, you know, it's it's not it's not it's not better than the powdered cheese sausage. We'll have to we'll we'll have to go back to the drawing board on, on this one. So I'm gonna have to give spray cheese sausage a two out of five. Bop, 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 bop.